Hey everyone, this quick video is about flat earths and Antarctica. Antarctica is the lands around the South Pole in the Southern Hemisphere. It is the antipod of the Arctic lying in the Northern Hemisphere around the North Pole. It was investigated by various explorers and sailors from 1820 onwards. In 1959, rules for the peaceful use and research of the polar cap were laid down in the Antarctic Treaty. Flat Earthers think that Antarctica is the ice wall around the Flat Earths. They claim no one can go there. Some even think that there are patrols all around the edge to prevent you from going there. I have a question to that. How many people would be needed to protect the ice wall all around? You need hundreds of thousands of people who would be in on it. And not even one ever busted that secret? Well, Flat Earthers ignore that this is impossible. They don't care about logic. They also don't care that it is impossible to see the same stars rotating around Sigma Ocantis everywhere above Antarctica if Antarctica is a huge ring of ice. Not to mention the problem that these stars rotate in the opposite direction of the northern stars, which also makes no fucking sense on a flat earth. That's another obvious nail in the flat earth coffin. I also miss any photos of the ice wall. Flat tots demand photos of the earth all the time, but can't provide any to their ice wall? To make that clear, you can go to Antarctica and even visit the South Pole. You just need money and very warm clothes. Or you take part on the Antarctica Cup ocean race around Antarctica. I have linked some sites where you can book these trips in the description. Why don't flat hearts simply raise money so that one of them can go there to take a look and make a few photos? This would be the easiest way to find out what Antarctica is. But you need to hurry up, because it seems that the imaginary ice wall around the imaginary flat earth is breaking apart. In reality, a huge chunk of Antarctica measuring about 5000 square kilometers is about to break off. That raises in me a few more questions for flat earthers. Is there a climate change on the flat earth? What happened when the ice is gone? Is there land under the ice wall or is it only ice? If there is a dome above us which ends at the ice wall, is there more land behind it? And if there is more land, will we be able to go there? Wouldn't we need to make a hole in the dome to get there? Wouldn't that be dangerous for us? And lastly, are you fucking retarded? Well, the last one answers itself. And with that I'll end this video. Thanks for watching, bye bye and stay tuned.